Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is a bit of an emergency frantic video that I'm recording now. I've got no equipment on me, so please uh, bear with me, but this is kind of a stressful time right now. I've just been poking and prodding around the GLS. Um, as you know, I'm, I'm doing it up and sorting the paint out and stuff like that. And I've just pulled the carpet back. Um, I've found some rust, unfortunately, and it's a rust hole. I'll show you more, but I'm literally taking it to get it welded right this second immediately. I saw it, I went straight down to the welders. I was like, I need you to do this for me like right now if that's possible so he's thankfully booked me in straight away so the bad news is it's, it is on the floor pan where it joins on the front arch it's down there in that corner where I've pulled the carpet but it's not structural they've told me it's not structural which is the main news and it can be repaired it is the only bit of rust I have had the whole I've had the whole thing apart now and I'm gonna have it apart again so double check but there is no more rust it does not go further back it doesn't go further forward everywhere else is still spotless but for now I'll show you this video So you've just seen that clip where they were poking it. I'm just going to show you from my sort of perspective now. It's not great, really. It's it, it really isn't, but it doesn't go any further back. I'm going to lift this up here. I'm going to try my best to capture this angle. There we go. Pull this back as well. You'll see it doesn't go any further back, thankfully. It doesn't go any further back this way, so it's just this that does one plating up. So I'm getting a lift back down now in Harry's 31, the best 31 on the roads in the UK. Um, and we're going to go check out the GLS's weld. I'm looking forward to it. It's been about, it's been like five, six hours now, hasn't it, since we've took it down. So yeah, uh, I assume they've undersealed it and stuff, but we shall find out. And there we go. It's repaired. It's been fresh and undersealed. It stinks in here because of the underseal, but she looks great. And it's a galvanised plate in there as well. So this part isn't actually going to rot out again. So I'm going to have a look at it from the exterior in a minute. I'm going to get out, but for now, I'm just going to take some pictures for comparisons for before and after, and then we'll go over it fully what we've done. So this is the part where I talk into the camera about what's actually been done. So we'll just go over it now. I'm looking at the pictures on my computer. So you can see the rust hole on the left hand side, what it used to look like. And now, in the middle and on the right hand side you will be able to see what has been done and what it also looked like underneath now underneath it was very deceiving i actually saw this picture from underneath when i was doing the mot back in november and december but i didn't think anything of it because it didn't flag up so i thought to check it again considering i've just had the gx done obviously it had a bit of rot on the cross member so i've gone around checking this and that's how this has all come about. I had a look under it first, saw that, pulled the carpet, wasn't taking any chances, and there was the rust hole that you see on the left. And the right hand side, I'm gonna talk a bit about the repair now. Like I mentioned earlier, it is a galvanized steel plate, so that specific plate that they put in will not rot again. They've undersealed it very heavily as well, which is great. So hopefully there's gonna be no more rot. I'm gonna do my utmost to make sure there is no rot at all. I'm gonna be doing frequent checks because you just don't know, and I don't want this car to end up, you know, being too far gone. Rust scare officially over with. I'm going to unlock it now. I'm going to show you what the repair looks like now after it's been about three or four days. I'm also going to show you what it looks like underneath. Oh, that's the wrong key. Can't say what that key is for just yet, unfortunately. But anyway, I'm going to hop in here. And this is what she looks like after about four days. It looks so much better than it did. Honestly, a little bit of the carpet stuck to it. Not too fussed about that. I'll try and get it all off. But that's going to go back as normal once it's all dry and sorted. So if I just hop out underneath, I'll be able to show you, hopefully, what it looks like. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. I think you'll be able to. But it's all sorted. Like I said, there's a galvanised steel plate. So plans to refurbish this are still on the go, considering the GX has passed its MLT. But there's some more information in another video after this one to come on the GX and there's also one of this in between in the meantime as well so yeah thanks for watching this short video sorry it was a bit of a short one I thought I'd have to make a video on this because it's just so it's so sort of involving with the car it's a very big thing with it so I had to make a video on it I better lock it whilst I'm here actually there we go yeah um thought I'd make a video very inclusive very involving it's a big part of the build so yeah refurbishments are carrying on as possible as normal now 
paint, spoiler, etc, etc, all of it's going on and it's just business as usual with this thing. So yeah, stay tuned for some more GLS refurbishment content. There's going to be a whole series coming out on that soon, as well as in between bits of this. And yeah, you'll have to stay tuned for the GX as well, because there's something interesting happening with that. But yeah, more on that later. Thanks for watching and take care of yourself.